morning, I would like to introduce our company to you, which is one of the most innovative companies all around the world. And we are Group B, and we represent Apple, and I'm um, Henry Tsai. The first part is our overview. As a matter of fact, there are more than 14% of Taiwanese that use iPhones, and also there are approximately 15% of people in the United States that use our smartphones. Basically, there are four major products in our brand. First of all is Mac, the personal computer. And the next one is iPad. The third one is iPhone. Uh, I know it looks very fashionable and also gorgeous. And the last one is wearable, something like Apple Watch and AirPods. When you use your iPad, Mac, uh, iPhone, and Apple Watch, you can do a lot of incredible things. But let me tell you, when you use them all together, you can do so much more. Um, it is like there are all made for each one, and this really make our product such a huge hit with the customer. For example, you can make in and receiving phone call without picking up your iPhone, and also use your iPad to extend the world's best of Mac. And the most interesting thing is that you can use your Apple Watch to automatically unlock your um, iPhone. And we dedicate ourselves to provide a great ecosystem to the user, and also providing a better experience to them. a brief look of Apple's financial statements. For here, this is the fourth quarter of 2020 and 2021. The reason why we decide the fourth quarter rather than the first quarter is that the most Apple's new products are introduced in the late September. Therefore, we believe that there are much more differences between their financial statements. And for here, their September quarter revenue is about $83.5 billion and up to 29% increase for their gross margin. For here, we can see that there are significant climb, significant climb for the recent year of their gross margin, gross revenue, and their profit. And for their earning per share, Apple's earning per share are, the reported earning per share are much more higher than the SMA's earning per share. So we can see that the higher earning per share, the more confidence the company is. That is definitely believe that Apple's future is very a positive trend. Okay, I'm Esther Lee, and now we'll dig into the reason to uh, invest in Apple. So we got three reasons. The first one, the, their brand value. Apple not only has the great performance on their financial statements, they also has the uh, best, uh, highest brand value in the whole world. In the last year, their brand value is more than $400 billion, and the growth rate is 26%. And the th uh, second reason is that they have the perfect ecosystem. In the last year, their software service earned more than 18% of uh, total revenue for them. And this software, such as iOS system, App Store, and also iCloud, build up a perfect ecosystem to keep users staying. And the third reason, their innovation. They has, for example, iGlasses, I, uh, Apple Car, and also their new chip M1. So they know the uh, future trend and they keep themselves to follow up. So we can tell that Apple not only making profit for now, they also ensuring their future profitability. That's the reason why people should invest in Apple. So this is our presentation. Thank you for listening.